Next month marks five years since Hurricane Michael struck the Florida Panhandle. It was the first Category 5 to make landfall in the U.S. in more than a quarter century. Places like Mexico Beach and Panama City, long tourist destinations for Alabamians, were devastated. Well, tonight we go in depth on how tourists eventually found their way back to these beaches. You may not see it now, but the people who still call Mexico Beach home can. I don't think you'll ever be able to drive through and not think about it because there are certain landmarks that are just sadly they're never coming back. There were 1200 full time residents here then. Now there's a little over 900. Some families are still just sitting and waiting, trying to figure out what they really want to do. Kimberly Shove serves the city's Community Development Council. She knew it would take years for Mexico Beach to rebuild from Michael. Some of those residents she mentioned are waiting on nearby Tyndall Air Force Base to be fully rebuilt. What they didn't count on was a global pandemic. When you're trying to rebuild a whole entire community and then the world shuts down, it, it was just like another punch in the gut. It was hard because um, people stopped working because you had to, of course. Supplies stopped. And then when things started to pick back up, it wasn't immediate. The pandemic led to supply chain issues and a slowdown for federal dollars. Still, the progress from when we first reported here is easy to see. Across this part of the coast, landmarks have literally been wiped off the map, or in the case of the El Governor Motel, so damaged you can barely recognize it. Now, five years later, the El Governor Hotel looks much more like it did before the storm. It's at 80% capacity. They hope to have it fully reopened soon. But there is work still waiting to be done. A project to rebuild the town's public pier still hasn't broken ground. It was a staple of the community, and it's a sad staple that's not returned. It's going to return. It's getting there. It's in its final approval stages of FEMA. And so once that gets done, hopefully sometime soon, then the city can bid it out and then the construction can begin. Whether it's Mexico Beach or Panama City Beach, one thing is for certain. The beach is the engine that runs Bay County. 60% of all taxes are fueled by the miles of white sand and the tourists it attracts. Mexico Beach had a record year, which surpassed numbers even before the hurricane. Panama City Beach also saw record tourism numbers after Michael and during the pandemic when people sought an escape from social distancing. Councilman Phil Chester says the real impact from the storm was felt to the east in Panama City. We did lose some workers because there was not any, you know, yeah. uh, place to stay or for them to rent or whatever. But, uh, you know, the building, they're, they're coming back, they're building apartments, they're building affordable housing. Uh, different types of housing is coming up, you know, in town, which is which is great for business for the beach. Which is why restoring them is the next task for both communities. Because there is one thing which people here love above all else. Our sugar white sands, bottom line. It doesn't get any better. I mean, you can look out Emerald Coast, Emerald Green Water. Now, renovations along St. Andrews Park, which is located in Panama City Beach, began after Labor Day.